Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anybody was using the tub. I... I didn't... <laughs> Come on. Okay. Least he could do is wear a bathrobe. <laughs> What'll all the other seals in the neighborhood think? <laughs> I'm not gonna share my bathtub with any seal. I'm getting out of this joint. There must be other boarding houses in Hollywood. King size mice seals in the bathtub. I'm not Mrs. gonna go Murphy. for this, I'll tell you that. Mrs. Murphy! I can't... Mrs. Murphy! Oh, oh, excuse me. Are you the new boarder? Uh, I am now, I'll tell you that. I didn't mean to disturb you, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I'm Bob Hope. Oh, it's nice to know you. I'm Gloria De Haven. Shall we shake hands? Okay, if that's your best offer. <laughs> Are you in the show business? Yes, I'm a singer. I'm trying to get in pictures, and I figured if I could get some extra parts, maybe someone would see me. Well, I've seen you, and you don't need any extra parts. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Are you trying to break into pictures, too? Break in? Honey, I got it made. Big question now is just to sort out the offers. I'm really there. Oh, well, what are you doing here? Oh, well, uh, you know, a sensitive artist like me can't stand the hustle and bustle of the bigger hotels, limelight and all that publicity and autograph. That's why I came into this little lean-to just to sort of see how the other half live, you know, and mix with the drab little people. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm broke, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm broke, but believe me, I got this town figured out. All you have to do is find the right person, show them you got talent, and the rest is a breeze. Oh, but you don't understand. You see, in Hollywood, it's... Oh, excuse me. Hello? Benefit, I'll take it. <laughs> Hello, yes? Who? J.C. Colonna? Oh, well, just a minute. Oh, yes, he's in room nine. Hold on a minute, I'll get him. Hmm? Mr. Colonna? Mr. Colonna? You want it on the telephone? Maybe it's him. I'll be right there. <laughs> He's got his own phone booth. Yes, I picked it up in Chicago. It has a telephone number on it I didn't want to lose. <laughs> Yes, this is J.C. Colonna. What's that? He's holding up production. Well, fire him. I won't stand for any temperament. I'm not head of Paramount for nothing. Did you hear that, Gloria? He's head of Paramount. This may be the chance we've been waiting for. What do you mean? Well, if we can get him interested in us, maybe he'll give us a part in a picture at Paramount. Well, it's worth a try. Stand by. All right, all right. Keep production rolling. And one thing more. If Ed comes in, tell him I was asking for him. <laughs> nice day. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Mr. Colonna, I'd like to talk to you. What, do you, what can I do for you? And remember, I'm not a plastic surgeon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bob Hope. I'm a comedian. Miss Gloria Haven, I'd like a part in pictures. By the way, you've met Mr. Haven, haven't you? How do you do, Mr. Haven? I'm very pleased to meet you. <laughs> I don't pop out like this from wearing tight shoes. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have to go back to my room. No, no, wait, wait, Mr. Cole, listen. No, we're very desperate for jobs. We need jobs badly. Oh, that's right, I'm so broke, I can't even afford to buy a lipstick. I've been using Mercurochrome. Yeah, and I haven't eaten a square meal in days. It's getting so I'm jealous of anybody that can burp. He's <laughs> not so close. Your hot breath is melting the wax on my mustache. <laughs> no, please, you gotta give us a chance, Mr. Colonna. Believe me, we need... Gloria's terrific. You ought to see her do Rita Hayworth's part in Sadie Thompson. Go ahead, honey, show him. I don't want to frighten you, miss, but your power steering is loose. <laughs> I'm going to get back to my room. I've got some tea brewing on the fire. Yeah, but what's the hurry? No stove. <laughs> oh, Mr. Colonna, please. How about that, honey? We can't let him get away. We've got to show him that we got talent. What can we do? We've got to give him an audition. What's big in pictures right now? Well, Westerns always make a fortune. Westerns get it. Yeah, that's it. Come on, listen, Allie Bell. Saddle up old Pete and get your ornery carcass ready with a grub stake. We're riding into the tumbleweed to head off the sons of the pioneers and the riders of the purple sage before they ambush us in Gabby Hayes' beard. You hear me? Well, brand my hide and tumble my tumbleweed. You talk just like a regular cowhand. Yeah, that's cowhand. Now, come on, boy. You got to get along. Here's 
Sure I am, gal. Yeah, you think you're tough, eh? Well, last week in town, Pistol Pete beat up the sheriff with his bare fist. So Yeah? What'd you ever do? Last night at the YMCA, I snapped a guy with my towel. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Thank you for them kind words. Coming from a female critter, that's fine. As soon as this fracas is over, you and me is going to hitch up. I'm going for a wedding present. I'll buy you a surrey and a beautiful white horse to pull you up the hill. And when... What? Why don't you buy her a cow? You'll have four times the pull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you can't see that we've got talents, you're Nutty Colonna. No, I'm Jerry. Nutty Colonna's my brother. He's a fruitcake. <laughs> That's it. Come on, honey. Shake it up right here. Let's go. The stars seem to shine brighter tonight. Perhaps it's because Hamlet, my prince, is presently to meet me here. Hark, he approaches now. Hamlet? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yea, verily, forsooth, he got to be or not to be, and how you fix for blades. <laughs> my prince, how long I've waited for you, sire. All through the day, my hands have trembled, my lips have ached, my throat dry, my brow fevered. Take two aspirin, call me in the morning. <laughs> Hamlet, one day you shall ascend to the throne of Denmark and rule the Danes, for you are truly a great Dane. A great Dane? A great Dane. <laughs> Time for your dinner, Rover. Yeah. <laughs> and when it's time for your airy, just right to my door. Now, wait a minute. Rover, we were doing Shakespeare, Hamlet. Next time, try Romeo and Juliet. You play Romeo and you play Juliet. Yeah, wait a minute. Why? You got the biggest thing there. <laughs> Psychological drama, that'll get him. You mean one of those hard-boiled stories? One of those tough guy things. That's tough guy, see? The gang all calls me Blackie. It ain't because I'm tough, it's because I never took a bath. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? Did you break out of jail? Why not? I've been up there for 30 years. It must have been terrible. Ah, the first 20 years went like that. Then all of a sudden it got rough. Why? The novelty wore off. <laughs> but I ain't going back, you understand me? I didn't kill that guy, it was an accident. He ran right in front of my machine gun. <laughs> I poured so much lead into him, he died of fallen arches. Well, honey, you gotta go back to the big house and serve out your 99 years. Oh, no, you won't. Why not? I told you, I don't allow no cooking in the room. <laughs> Baby, don't let him take me back to the big house. I won't go. They'll have to kill me first. Kill me, kill me, kill me. I I shot him. The best I can do is give him the job anyway. Report to this address in the morning. Bring your hip boots and a sponge. Oh, Bob, isn't it wonderful you got a job? Yeah, but hip boots and a sponge. J.C. Colonna. Paramount Car Wash. <laughs>